What's up everyone? Welcome back to my vlog channel. I know you're probably wondering who is this frizzy haired freak. It's me. Welcome back. Um, I'm about to go get a haircut because I'm actually flying out to LA today to go see Karina and Peter and Squishy and the Navalua family. I'm really excited. I freaking love them all. So I'm taking you along with me obviously because I have a vlog channel and that's kind of what the purpose is. So um, right now I'm on my way to go get a haircut. My flight is in about like three hours, so hopefully it doesn't take too long because I still need to pack and all that stuff too, so let's just go already. Okay, so I am back from my haircut and I've actually been here for a while at home and I finished packing all of my stuff. Excuse my messy bed area, but I have my little bag here. Even though I'm going for three days, I made sure to pack shoes and stuff because you never know what's going to go down, you know what I'm saying? I have my laptop and everything, I think, because I have about an hour and a half to kill before I have to leave so I think I'm going to try and edit my video a little bit because I'm doing a video of reviewing unknown slime shop slime so I'll probably like start editing that maybe edit on the plane if they'll let me I haven't flown in forever so I don't know like what the rule is on that but we shall see yeah Y'all, I have arrived. I am here in Los Angeles and I'm staying, well, should I tell you where I'm staying? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm here in Beverly Hills, actually on Rodeo Drive and my hotel is actually very nice. The only thing I would say is that the air conditioning is like pretty loud, but I mean, it's cool in here so it's doing its job you know what i'm saying so if you hear like noise it's probably the air conditioning but i want to give you all like a really quick like hotel room tour or something like that because it's actually very nice so as you walk into the room you get like an automatic view of the actual room itself and then there's like a little balcony terrace kind of thing there's a mirror over here over here to this side there is the closet which they also provide robes like how cool is that and then here is the restroom which i have already utilized because i had to pee and it's just very very nice look at that look at me hello <laughs> but yeah this is really nice oh i should probably turn on the light huh that would probably help so here it is very very nice very bougie you know what i'm saying um got all that necessities and stuff up here they have a phone in the restroom and i can't with that honestly i'm not sure what that's for um can you order room service in the restroom or what because down <laughs> and then over here is the actual room i booked a king size bed because i need to stretch out like a starfish and they have like little ipads for you to use which i thought was really cool too so you see that here that's the little ipad it's just pretty nice pretty nice this is what i love the most a huge mirror it's freaking goals i love it it's a little place to sit eat or do some work this is where i'll be editing this is like the little desk and stuff really nice little area and then bam over here they have like a nice little like outside area where you can eat and things like that so it's really nice i enjoy this hotel so far so so far i'm actually enjoying the hotel and i just sat on the bed for the first time and it's actually very comfortable my butt is sinking in which is great um so yeah i mean everything's going well soon hopefully i'll get to meet with karina and peter for dinner tonight um that would be nice also one quick thing that i forgot to mention this hotel that i'm staying at in particular charges like a 35 dollar convenience fee like hotel fee which i actually think is pretty cool some people might think otherwise but it comes with like a whole bunch of things like you get to get Get, like um free breakfast obviously it's this is not like a motel eight people like you know what i mean not every place gives you free breakfast so i thought that was good there's also like free drinks in the afternoon um you get like appetizers throughout the day it's just it's worth it i think so i am laying on the bed now because i'm actually pretty exhausted i feel like i've just been like going and going for so long and I want to try to relax with this little mini vacation here because I'm only here in LA for like three days just until Thursday. So I want to try and relax as much as possible. Um, but I want to tell you all about my flight, y'all. Okay, so I don't know. I have mixed reviews, y'all, because my flight, I mean, there was a billion and one people on there, first of all. And I don't know, like... It's been a while since I've flown, like two years probably, but I don't ever remember that many people being on an airplane at one time. It was pretty crazy, and it was very crowded. It was a full flight, too, so, like, every seat was taken, and the guy that was next to me, like, legit, like, just had his legs, like, spread open the entire time, and I'm, like, um, excuse me, can you move your leg? 
and you know it was just kind of awkward i was on the window seat though so i did get to like take a picture uh, or like take videos of me like taking off in the plane and then landing the plane things like that so it was nice but um that was like my only thing and then also in the actual like um airport in lax oh my gosh did luggage like baggage claim took forever i was there for a good 20 minutes probably waiting for my bag and i'm like yo what's going on like i don't know if that's custom because like usually when i fly i don't bring like a suitcase but i wasn't sure what to wear this time so that's why i brought a suitcase full of clothes um extra i know but you know it's just just the little things that count you know what i'm saying but i'm really glad that my hotel is nice and the people are really nice somebody even helped me carry my bag and my suitcase like all the way up here i'm like oh my god thanks i feel fancy and my uber driver on the way over here was really nice as well shout out to her she is a one but i mean there was traffic on the way over here and the uber ride took like 20 minutes even though the hotel that i'm staying at on rodeo drive was probably like eight minutes from lax so i mean it was kind of crazy but i mean i understand it's not her fault it's the la traffic it was as drake said la traffic is hella slow it sure is like can't lie and yeah that uber ride cost me like 50 dollars when in reality it probably should have cost me like eight or nine dollars but because of the traffic I'm just gonna lay here and relax for a little bit and then I'll probably do some editing and I am starving so hopefully Karina and Peter text me soon to let me know if they're down to go eat or something cuz I'm hungry y'all I don't know if I could wait but there's like a whole bunch of snacks here in the hotel and I actually might just eat them I know they charge for like every single one but I might just eat one because I'm hungry but um we'll, we'll see I don't know y'all I am so shook it looks like I'm gonna have dinner with Karina and Peter right now I am legit shook I need to go out the door. I will see you when I see them. Guys, we're waiting for Joseph Anthony. We're about to meet one of our I, best friends. I'm shaking. shaking. I'm here with Karina and Squishy. Hey, bitch. Hey, oh my bitch. gosh, I'm gonna come up here. We're gonna meet Joseph Anthony right now, guys. I'm shaking. Like, I'm fucking excited. Y'all, we got Joseph Anthony. Hey, Unicorn Slap Shop in the building. Well, in the car. In the car. Ah! You guys, we just walked out of this restaurant because we had no idea that it was a 100% vegan restaurant. So we literally did the walk of shame and walked out like fat asses out of this poor. restaurant right now. I'm so embarrassed. Y'all, I am literally the worst vlogger ever. I can't with myself. I literally cannot. So I just got back from dinner with Karina Garcia, Pita Bread, and Squishy Bunny. And it was literal goals, y'all. I had such a blast. It was so fun to finally meet them. We've known each other for probably, like, two years now. And the fact that we're just meeting now, like, shakes me to the core. It was so funny because we actually went to, like, a restaurant. Like, the first restaurant that we went to, it was actually a vegan restaurant. And the waiter, like, went up to us and he was like, Hey, um, I'm sure you all know this, but it's a vegan restaurant, so everything is 100% vegan and blah, blah, blah. We look at each other like, um, what? <laughs> None of us are vegan. Like, no hate or, like, anything against vegans or anything, but we just ain't that, like... We need the meat. So we legit were just like looking at each other and we're like, what do we do? What do we do? So we decide to get up and leave. And the waiter is like staring at us the entire time. Like as we walk by, it was legit like doing the walk of shame. It was awful. It was so funny too because legit like we're looking at the menu and we're like, well, what is all of this? Like everything's with fruit. That's so weird. So then we just decided to head over to the Cheesecake Factory instead and we just grubbed out there and it was so much fun just to, you know, talk and chill. It was great. I had a great time and I'm the world's worst vlogger ever because I didn't get any of it on camera, but I went live a whole bunch of times throughout the day so did karina so did peter so did squishy so i will insert some clips for y'all to see but that is me ending my vlog for today because i don't know what else to say i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna take a shower and just knock out my bed is so comfortable i just want it like pass out right now but there's a big day tomorrow because tomorrow is Karina's event and I am already super duper shook. So that should be fun and I will definitely be vlogging there. Hopefully I don't forget. It's hard to vlog in public, you know what I mean? 
But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go now. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching this vlog, and I will see you all next time. Bye!